we have got the chrome dome going on. Let's just be clear about this thing, all right? Let's be clear, let's put the hat on, the YouTube hat from 2008. There's no such thing as naturally thin. There's just not. Right? This is, there's, just, there's no such thing as naturally thin. I can get anybody lean as fuck, man. Lean, 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 abs on abs, veins popping out. You see me last year? You see me this year, how lean I get? There's a snake over there. Um, lean, man. And I can make anybody obese. Obese. <laughs> like, it's just like, someone says, but you're naturally thin, Harley. And Natasha's naturally thin. All your girlfriends are miraculously naturally thin. All they get, naturally thin. Oh, what, what did I say? I mean, it doesn't matter. Mate, if, if someone's my girlfriend, they either get really fit and hot, or they stay really fit and hot. You know? There's no, like... You know, no one becomes fat, no one stays fat. This is not how it works, mate. You know, when you live with Durinol, you get like the, the living experience. And if you're lean, you're gonna stay lean and probably maybe even get too lean. You know, I keep Natasha's training down. She even said the other day, she goes, this is the least training I've ever done. Right? She's the least training she's ever done in her life is this last year. And so there you go. That's just fucking proof. Someone goes, oh, I'll take a month off the bike. I'll listen to your advice, Harley. I've taken, like, the last five years off the bike, basically. Look at my Strava. People complaining. You don't do long rides. Like, did you even ride anymore, man? You're a cyclist anymore, man. Like, I can't, I can't win either way. It's either I do big Ks, and people are like, yeah, man, fucking smashing it. Or I don't do any car to any Ks. I ride to the shops and do a 10K or 5K commute. And the teacher people go, oh, my God, you rode 5Ks. That's extreme exercise. No wonder you're lean like Chris Froome. No wonder you look like Egan Banal. You ride five coats to shopping back, Harley. That's extreme exercise. I don't do any exercise. So I, I can't win either way. Either I do a lot of Ks and show people vegan works, or I do fuck all Ks and show you how lean I stay, you know? And people go, oh, you don't do any... Tra like, you know, like, I repeat myself again and again, isn't it? It's like, what do you do? It's, you impress one people, then you unimpress other people. This is how it is. You step left, oh, you're too left. Step right, oh, you're too right. You black, oh, too black, oh, too white. No, no, gray, not black enough, white enough. Black. It's just like, Ugh. there's no such thing as natural, lean. Everybody can be fucking lean. Everyone's designed to be lean, all right? Even if you've got some genetic thing going on, your body wants to be lean, your knee joint isn't designed for a lot of weight. Even when you take steroids, see, when I've taken steroids, you gain weight really quickly. And you'll see a lot of the people out there, they get these, they gain weight so fast and still. It's a big giveaway. I don't have it because I never stayed on it a lot. Is this line, you get these big stretch marks here. If you want to know if someone's taken steroids, or you lose, look at the stretch marks in their shoulders and biceps. 100% giveaway. All right? Now, not everyone who takes steroids gets those, but everyone who has those, unless they were like obese or something, is on the guess. All right? This is how it is. Um, especially if you're big and ripped and got those stretch marks, you get them from taking gear. Nothing wrong with that. This is how it is. So don't lie to people. I've never taken steroids before. I took them when I was 18. Once. The Rock. <laughs> Fucking hell. People believe The Rock is natty. Man, this world is... People believe... Harley, oh, you're naturally lean. Well, how come my mum's 90 kilos? And how come when my mum eats like me... She doesn't ride a bike. She doesn't do exercise. But how come when she eats like me, she slims down a bit? Huh? And then she gets back on the cheese and stuff like that. The bodybuilding foods. Cheese ain't a slimming food. You will not see Ch Natasha eating cheese. She is a plant eater, a rabbit eater. Not a rabbit eater. A rabbit food eater. You know? It's fucking simple, man. You give me any small Filipino man or woman, petite, athletic, lean, you know, fit little toe looking, and I can turn him to mammoths, whales, in a few months. Give him the meat, give him the eggs, give him the dairy, give him the protein shakes, the whey protein shakes, and I will bulk up I've got little cannonballs. Same with any Australian, mate. Bring them to Thailand, train them up, get them lean. If it's naturally, if I'm just naturally lean, how come I get all my obese people super skinny, super lean, too lean in some people's eyes? How, how come it is? How come, oh, oh, I say this with such conviction and passion and frustration as well. Now you give me fucking anyone, man, and I'll get him so fucking lean. I'll get him like, just, you know, people think they're going to have, you know, Disease or something, AIDS or cancer or six foot tapeworm or heroin addiction. It's nuts. It's just, it, it, and it's just like, oh my god. 
People just don't, some people just don't get fucking get it, man. It's like, it's like I live near the beach here. It's like people go to get, almost get to the beach and go, oh, there's no beach here. There's no beach in Phuket, Thailand, you know? Nah, there's not. And I'm like, dude, the beach is just there. Like, seriously, walk me. It's just like 200 meters down there. Oh, nah. Nah, mate. You you would you look a bit crazy. You look a little bit weird, mate. I ain't going to trust you. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm going to go back to the airport and fly off. And I never went to the beach entirely. That's how some, some, literally, some people are so dumb. They believe the fake natives out there. Oh, that person wouldn't take steroids. He's a nice guy. She's a lovely girl. Daniel and Bailey. That's just natural hard work, isn't it? And then they just, they just get conned by buying this intermittent fasting bullshit or some whey shake or some Atkins or low carb bullshit. It's just like, oh man. And that's, that's, that's fine if people do that and there'd be no consequence to the environment. But those diets, man, they cause massive depression, which causes massive relationship issues, causes massive hormonal issues. Your dick don't work properly. You've got no sex drive if you're a guy or a girl, and that can cause issues in relationship or just you don't feel good because you don't have enough energy. You constantly coffee, coffee, coffee. Unlike me, how many times have you seen me have a cup of coffee in my, in my vlog? Anytime I take caffeine, is very, very rarely. Maybe for like a race or something like that, which is very rare. I hardly ever race. Even park runner, most of the times it's full nitty bra. You know, it's just five, it's just five k. Right? Um, you know, and so you have these people just addicted to stimulants, Adderall, Ritalin, just. Bah, 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 bah. Sorry, you're not sober. Don't call yourself sober and drug free if you're popping Ritalin, and Adderall. That shit is like meth, man. It's legal meth. Don't say, say you saw, I quit straight drugs, and then bang, be doing Adderall and, me, and me, meth, uh, methylphenidate and all that stuff. That stuff is street drug, man. Basically, it is. It's doctor's street drugs. So, it's if you use that stuff for your exams or whatever, yeah, I get it. But if you're using that stuff every day, don't call yourself sober, because you're not. Simple as that. That stuff is powerful shit. And, uh, and mind-altering as well. So, and people do it for weight loss. People fucking guzzle that shit for weight loss. I remember High Carb Hannah. I created that channel name. I created her channel. Uh, Monetize, etc. I remember her. She was very open about it. She used to do a lot of Adderall for weight loss. And then she, once she stopped, she boom, ballooned out. You know, people like, oh, don't stop then. Just keep it going. It's like, well, you either stop or you give yourself liver cancer or something happens down the track. So I don't care. It's only skinny in my life hanging out. Then you're just like a nutter. Have you ever been around someone on Adderall or Ritalin? Like they're not every day. It's like, man, fuck it now. It's like Woody Woodpecker. It's drrr, crazy. And then the come downs and the mood swings. Eh, eh. I'd never date someone who, who was onto, into that stuff. It's just too... I'd never date a coffee drinker. Yeah, it's just too too much. Hello, sorry, Cup. It's like just too, you know, too much up and down roller coaster. So, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's crazy, man. It's, we live in this interesting, interesting world where we just have, you know such confusion out there and you, know, you come to Thailand here and it's just amazing how you can demonstrate that there's no such thing as naturally lean if you eat a lot of meat and milk and eggs you're going to become as fat as any westerner out there you know 100% there's no doubt about it so you look at the Tour de France we've got Garen Thomas remember how, and he won the Tour de France last year and then he stopped you know he, stopped, well, not, he didn't stop he kept training kept riding but look how much weight he gained he just won the Tour de France he looked like a total amateur rider you know, he looked like he'd, he'd won nothing, didn't race nothing. Garen Thomas got fat. As if you're in a, if you're in cyclist thoughts mentality, he got fat. You know? and it's not 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 not, not saying hey, he got fat, he's a loser. I'm just saying that the diet he loves to eat, the high fat, rich English diet, English breakfast, fat bacon, eggs, cream, meat burgers. That's the obesity foods. And so even a professional cyclist at the top of the top of the top to win the Tour de France ain't no joke. To even be in the Tour de France ain't no joke. And you could see in just a matter of weeks, he was starting to stretch out his lycra and gain 10, 15, 20 kilos. I don't know what he gained, but he gained way too much fat to be a professional cyclist. So it goes to show. And then he had to lose it all, get back in shape for the Tour de France this year. So, you know, it's like just a few weeks of bad food choices creates work that you know, takes months to get rid of. So there you go. That's just how quickly. And people say, oh, he's just naturally thin. No, no, man. He ain't. What about Bradley Wiggins? Remember people said, oh, Bradley Wiggins is just naturally thin. Look how fat he is now. You know, he constantly battles his weight. All right, give him a break. He's a professional cyclist. Well, hang on. You said he was naturally lean. What about now? Where's that going? Why am I training jack all and I'm as lean as any Tour de France racer out there? Why? Oh, it's just, I don't know, because huh? you're naturally lean. Why do people keep saying that? 
I can't get obese. So if I just start smashing in, you know, meat and eggs and all the shit I used to eat, you know, limited quantities, like eating my rice, sugars and fruits, I'm not going to become obese? Yes, I fucking am, man. Yeah, totally I am. Totally I am. But it's people out there who, who, who believe that, and, and that's sort of no consequence to me if you believe those myths. That's a consequence to you, because now you're even more confused. You found the truth, you came to our channel, you're like, okay, Harley's getting go results, look at his girlfriends. His girlfriend's like Victoria's Secret models all the time. All the time. Yeah, they can't, you give me, you give me a, a 90 kilo girl who's six foot, I'll turn into a 55, 60 kilo girl who's six foot. Victoria's Secret model style. You know? I'd have said every time. Every time. You know? And uh, so they, I'll say, well, that's the results I'm getting for people, or how lean I stay, Tour de France lean all year long, with no dieting, no stimulant abuse, you know? No thyroid meds, I'm not into thyroid meds or whatever. There's no there's no little uh, TUEs here, there's no prescriptions that I'm like, ah, oh, shit, guys, I do do thyroid meds and I, I pop 50 mils of Adderall a day. No, no, there's nothing like that going on. You see my blood tests, all good. It's just the food, man. Look at the people who I trained with or ride with over the years. Look how lean they get and fast. You know? I'm not the only one out there. I'm not the outlier. Like, there's people out in the, in the fitness community, fitness community. So taking steroids ain't fitness. The people out there in the steroid community, in the fake native community, vegan or not, and they're the only people out there who, who look like that, who, who they coach or hang around, isn't it? It's like, hang on, out, like, what? If, you're, if your program's so good, how come none of your followers look like you? So many of my followers look like me, lean, fucking <laughs> aeronautic looking, fast and bikes, fast runners, you know? Or maybe they're not. Maybe they just don't exercise, but they're still lean, relative to how they would be otherwise. And so that's your consequence, man. If you buy into that bullshit, people can be naturally lean. Pfft, I've, got, I've got a friend. He's 19. He eats whatever he wants, and he's got abs. And they don't last very long. That dude's calorie restriction. Or he's an Adderall to calorie restrict. Wait, what, 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 what? Do you think he's going to look on that when he's my age? Eh, eh. Man, like, everybody knows the hot chicken school. If you're 40. Everyone knows, or 30, everyone knows the hot chicken, maybe if you're 25, the hot chicken school, the teenage girl, oh my god, she can eat anything, she's so skinny, she's so hot, she looks great, and now she's obese. Everyone knows that one of those people, or the guy, man, that girl was ripped, he got abs, and now he's got you know, moves and he's obese. It doesn't make him bad people, I'm just using this as a physiological example. Everybody knows that, maybe if you're young and you're 15, you don't know anyone like that, but you, when, as you get older, I remember so many people from my school, when I least high school, guys and girls who were lean, athletic, and then I see him on Facebook, and I'm like, holy shit. Holy shit. Someone called Greenpeace, you know? It's like, it's insane. A lot of it, they get on the SSRI meds, or the keto diets, low-carb diets, thyroid, poof, tanks out. Poof, poof. Look at David Wolf, the raw food dude, you know? It's like, it fully raw Christina. Now, she's not fat, but she ain't as raw thin as she used to be. And I don't say that as a different, I'll say that as just an observation, but, oh, Christina can eat sugar diet, she, she, she can't gain weight. You know, and now she's you know not exactly raw. She's not Natasha lean. She's not Duran or a girlfriend lean. She looks great. She looks healthy, but you wouldn't pick her as like a marathon runner, would you? Even though she trains a lot. So that's that's metabolism from dieting, juice fasting, water fasting. That thing slows your diet, your metabolism down. So if your goal is weight loss, don't do those things, man. They just slow your throat down. But hey, don't listen to Duran Rider, who's been saying the same fucking thing every day for over five thousand videos. Carb the fuck up. Eat your fruit, or eat your rice, or eat your sugars, or eat all three, ideally. Don't limit them, ever. Limit your fat intake. Do bit exercise if you want to look toned, have energy, and have better health. All these people out there who do raw food diet, and they're like, I don't do any exercise. So you ain't healthy then. You have to do exercise to be healthy. Exercise isn't a guarantee of health, but it's a component of health. Just like sleep. <laughs> you know, you got to get your sleep. you got to eat your exercise. But just because you sleep enough doesn't mean you're going to be healthy. But you need sleep to be healthy, if that makes sense. Just because you exercise doesn't mean you'll be healthy. Just because you eat well doesn't mean you'll be healthy. But it's a component, it's a factor, isn't it? It's a spoke in the wheel. It's many spokes of health. So these people out there, man, it's like, oh. But that's what I do. I'm an educator. And I, I have the same questions every, every single day. Since I jumped on the internet back in 2003. Started typing on forums. Started on Paul Neeson's forum. Started on Veg Source forum. Don't know the forums that ain't even around anymore. Cycling news and stuff like that. Like, forums have been banned for many, many times. So it's just the same shit. I, I have the same message all the time. I look the same all the time. Maybe give or take a few kilos of muscle here or there, fake natty or whatever. But I'm always lean. 
I always look like I'm ready for the Tour de France. Every time you see a video, it's like, yep, yeah, Duran could be in the Tour de France, wouldn't look out of place. He looked like he could be out there, the Kings in the marathon, doesn't look out of place. And you really think that's just because I'm naturally lean. No, man, that is fucking nutrition. That is clean eating day in, day out for the last... Man, are we really 18 years vegan? 2001? Holy shit. That's almost as old as Natasha is. Natasha's 21. 18 years. Man. Natasha was 18 when she first started my joint. In the tent in the backyard. So do you really think that these results are unique just to me? If you do think that, then please get your eyeballs open. Look around, man. Maybe stalk me a bit. Watch some of my videos. Watch some of the people in my videos over the years. Always go to Strava and see how lean people are in Chiang Mai and stuff like that. Watch the people who go to Chiang Mai as obese and they, there's so many of them now. There's even some girls now in Chiang Mai. Just slim right up. Sugar, rice, fruit. People don't want to do that though. Oh, no, no, no. So these are just excuses people tell themselves. And keep spelling your, keep telling yourself excuses, but please don't post on social media and confuse other people. Just if you want to be lazy as fuck and give up in life, do it. But don't let anyone else come down with you. All right? Just go, just be silent. Yeah, just be, I'm just going to go over here and waste my lifetime, waste my opportunities in life. Do that. It's for your choice. Try not to fuck up the planet in the meantime and try not to bring other people down and confuse them. Oh, doing what is this? Doing what is that? I'm fucking fit. I'm fucking lean. I'm 42 in a couple of weeks. My girlfriend's hot as fuck and she could be in the Victoria's Secret catalogue back in the day when they had hot chicks in there, not the, you know, not what they've got now, this fat acceptance movement. I'm against that. That's like, you know, ill health acceptance movement. It's not healthy to be obese. All right? Do something about it. Start eating healthy. You have to exercise more to start eating healthy. The exercise will be good though. Good for the planet. Don't exercise for weight loss. Ride your bike for the fucking planet. But yeah, it's crazy, man. You know, so if, if uh, well, even after 11 years doing YouTube, where my videos are pretty much all the same, so it's me repeating myself again and again, I still get that frustration because I do care. And I'm like, people still believe that. I guess there's a few billion people out there I've got to educate. Actually, it's not a few billion people because there's, there's plenty of, uh, yeah, there's about five billion lean Asians and Indians and Africans who live on white rice, corn, fruit, sugar, who are lean and they're not starving. And if we got those people, we'd give them a Western diet, high fat, not of processed foods or high sugar. Processed foods don't mean nothing. Processed foods could be, we just blended up some pineapple with sugar. That's processed food. Zero grams of fat, or maybe one gram of fat per thousand calories. Or we could have a Big Mac, bacon, burger, fried in fat. Processed foods. So be, be objective with processed food. They processed foods can be perfectly healthy and slimming, or they can be totally toxic and obesity triggering. So let's be objective. Let's wear macros. So we give these Indians, Africans, Asians a lot of fat, animal fat as well. And they're going to gain weight like nothing, mate. Like nothing. Just like that teenage hottie used to date or used to know or might or have a crush on back in high school male or female, and you're oh my god, they're so gorgeous, they're like, wow, and then you see them on Facebook, you're like, holy shit, you take a screenshot of them and send it to your mate, man, did you see what happened to Jane, did you see what happened to James, wow, man, baby got back, baby got triple back, you know, that is the meat and the diets and the contraceptive pill and the SSRI medications and the whole carb phobia, that is it, personified with those high school sweetheart, super skinny transformations to big mamas. Big puppets. So there's no such thing as naturally lean. Everyone is naturally lean by nature, by design, joint design, not much weight. But to say we're naturally lean, you're just naturally lean, you can eat whatever you want, Harley, and you never gain weight is absolute fucking bullshit. I could turn myself obese. Obese in a few months. Because oh, I should do it, should do it. And then lose all the weight again. What what I eat? I have to eat bacon and eggs and all the death shit. I don't want to do that, man. It's not what who I'm about. I love being lean. I love having my dick work. I love having my energy. I love being able to smash on my bike if I want whatever I want. I love being able to run a marathon if I want or do a 5K and kick the teenagers' asses. I love that, man. I love having energy. Yeah? My girlfriend's 21. Do you think she wants to be with some dude who's got no energy? You can't rock a well when she wants it? Fuck that, man. Last short, you would be dead tomorrow. I ain't got time to be obese and eat the obesity foods. I'm only here once and I'm going to live lean, live large, but lean large and help people do the same. So if you want it, do what I'm doing. If you don't, do something else. But please, look after the environment, man. Fucking, 
you know, just go vegan anyway. And fucking do it for the Amazon, do it for the environment, do it for the, the fish, do it for the fucking eagles. Man, look at the shit we're doing to the planet just so we can fucking eat meat. It's fucking nuts, man. It's totally fucked up.